Hello! In this mini app, it's just me today, Scott, as Anthony is away on a holiday with the family. Hence why we're not having a live episode tonight, but we will be back next week on the 29th at 9 o'clock as usual. And as we mentioned in last week's show, I do believe it is 9 o'clock here in the UK is 5 p.m. on the east coast of America about 1 p.m. on the west coast and if you're all the way over the other side by australia it's about six o'clock in the morning uh central europe it's about 10 p.m so those are some rough times just look up um <laughs> uk times nine o'clock see what the conversion is anyway we will be back on the 29th next week and we've got a great episode lined up as we will be talking to the character animator godfather himself Mr. Dave Werner from Adobe. If you have any questions you would like us to ask Mr. Werner or Dave, <laughs> um, please do leave a comment below and we'll put forward as many as possible. Right, okay, so today on this mini upload, I will be sharing a quick tip with you on how to get a few, okay, if you've got a very complicated character and you've got him doing loads and loads of moves, lots of expressions, you might find that you're running out of keys on the keyboard, as we have found ourselves. And in the past, I have found a way around this. And what I'm going to demonstrate is a way to get more button on the keyboard. Right, okay. Here is... Uh, demonstration head um, I'm gonna call him mr. lucky because he looks a little bit like a mr. man right so if I press a on the keyboard he should smile there he goes I'm very happy now if I've run out if all the other keys on the keyboard are doing something else and I want to give him more expressions. What can I do? Well, I'll show you. Here is rig mode. Right, now here's an example of how I'll get multiple uses out of one button on the keyboard. Right, as an example, I'm going to show how to get multiple uses out of the letter A. Now, here's a neutral mouth. And on the first instance of A, when I press it, he smiles now I've created two duplicate neutral folders and in the second one I've got him with a sad expression when I press a and in the third one I've got an expression of shock when you press a now the way I do this is that when I press I'll give this folder a trigger so I'll call this trigger number one and you gotta make sure that you latch it and when you do so it will make this one and this one disappear as long as you've got hide other layers checked oh right, hang on let me just move this over here to demonstrate right okay let's see you'll notice here so on this one here if you look down where i'm pointing um, it is lashed and I've got also ticked hide others in group and I've also got it for that one as well you'll notice hide others in group it's very important that they're lashed so that they stay active right what will happen is when you um, go back to scene right so at the moment when I press A it smiles now, if I press the number one to trigger the alternative box, and I've got that on last, when I press A again, it should be an alternative expression. Yep, I've got sad. Now, if I press two for my other alternative version, and then press A again, it should be another expression. And if I press 2 again to turn it off, it should revert back to the original smile when I press A. 
Does that make sense? Hopefully so. If it doesn't, post your questions below and I'll be happy to clarify. Now you might be saying, hang on a minute, you're using loads of keys there. You're using the number one, the number two, the number three to get all these different uses um, out of the letter A. So how is that any help whatsoever? Well, you can designate the numbers one, two, three, and even four, for example, as your alternatives. So what I mean is any key on your keyboard, take Q, for, um, for example. Um, you press number one to create the first alternative for the letter Q. Press number two for the second alternative, number three for the third alternative, number four for the fourth alternative. And you can do that on every key on the keyboard. So W, E, R, T, etc. You can get four uses out of them. Or you could designate one to nine as alternatives. The point is you've got options. And hopefully this tip can help you in some way. Right, well that's it for today. It was just a quick one. Hopefully you'll join in next week for our interview with Dave Werner. And again, if you've got any questions you'd like us to ask him, please post them in the comment box below and we will do our very best to ask. Thank you for tuning in and we look forward to speaking with you next week. Bye.